In this task, you'll learn how to create a new shapefile that you'll digitize into during task 3. This will be done in QGIS browser open now. I'll first navigate to the Lab 5 New Data folder and click the New Shapefile button, opening up the new Vector Layer window. I'm going to choose the geometry of my new shapefile as Polygon. Then I'm going to choose the coordinate reference system that this data set will be created with. In the coordinate reference system selector, I'm going to type in New Mexico into the filter line, and this will eliminate all CRSs that do not have New Mexico in their name. From here, I want to find the one for New Mexico State Plain Central, NAD83 Harn. This is the one that I want with EPSG code 2903. Now that that's selected, I'll click OK, and that gets entered in the new vector layer form. While I'm creating my new layer, I can also choose to add attributes. It is possible to add attributes after the fact, but if you know some of the attribute columns you'll need up front, it makes the most sense to define them here. So I'm going to be giving my new attribute the name of zone code, and this attribute column is going to be used to store the zoning code for the data you're going to digitize. I'm going to choose the type as text data, and it's very important to choose the right kind of data when creating an attribute field because you cannot change this after the fact. You need to make sure you're choosing the data type that makes sense for the data you're going to store. So we're going to make this a text data field with a width of five characters. And then I'll click the Add to Attributes List button, and I'll see my new attribute listed here. I'll then click OK. Since I selected my new data folder when I click the New Shapefile button, it defaults to this location. And I'll be naming this new layer parcels.shape. I'll click Save. I'll click the Refresh button to refresh my browser view, and I'll see my new shapefile listed here. And I can see in the metadata that this is an Esri shape file, that it's of type polygon, and that it has zero features. I'll be creating these in task three. In the next task, you'll learn how to geo-reference a scanned map.